Kaze tuti, kaze ji kaze. You are listening to African Father in America podcast by Simon Javanokelo live from Seattle, Washington, USA. Thank you, thank you so much for joining me for another incredible session here of the African Father in America podcast. My name is Simon Javan Okelo. I am in Seattle, Washington, and uh, I am actually about to bring on a guest uh, who is going to join us for today's conversation. Uh, Fadili, how are you doing, my brother? Just want to bring on Fadili here, who is going to be our guest today. My brother, how are you? I'm very good, bro. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much for making the time uh, for today's conversation. Bless it you. means a lot. Bless you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean. Bless you, thank you. Thank you. We are uh, on Clubhouse. Uh, so we are on two apps on Clubhouse and also on YouTube. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited about our conversation today. So the way it's going to happen is that uh, we are we have a brother called jared and we have lavender we have steve you know a number of people that you've interacted with that are part of our team uh, but jared uh, particularly is helping us with promoting a trip that we are organizing for uh, brothers and sisters in the diaspora to come to kenya next year february 1st to 10th so he's going to uh, share with that with all of us that in just a second but uh, our conversation is going to be great it's going to be grounded on an, on an african proverb from south africa so we are going to talk about this proverb briefly yes. uh, i will share three nuggets yes. of wisdom about it and then we'll dive into your story for a moment then uh, we also have brothers and sisters joining us from all over the world that will contribute to our conversation today so uh, just go ahead and say hello and then i'll bring on jared here for a moment all right what's up people what's up people <laughs> um i'm excited to be here uh, my name is Fethi Lee. i'm a singer songwriter and uh, i would say a music entrepreneur from nairobi kenya and uh, I'm so honored to be on this show, actually. Thank you so much, brother, for having me. Of course, of course. You do a lot of work. Uh, I, I've had many, many opportunities that I should have taken advantage of to make sure, you know, we connect and do something. But I think this is the right time now. You know, uh, uh, I just appreciate you for being here. And I can't wait for us to dive deep and talk a little yes, more. Sir. Yeah, man, yeah, man. But now I want to uh, bring you on, Jared. Just, you know, uh, say hello and share with everyone how they can be part of the One Vibe Experience trip that we are organizing. Then I'll come to you, Fadili, in just a moment so that we can continue on. Go ahead, Jared. All right. Awesome. awesome. Hey, what's up, everybody? Good morning. Hope all is well. Um, yeah, so February 1st to the 10th, uh, we're going to be doing an amazing trip. Our One Live Africa is going to be doing an amazing trip. I'll be joining uh, where uh, it'll be a curated experience where there'll be a very like very carefully curated and organized trip. Um, and one thing that I say is like, if you are a solo traveler, this is definitely a, a good opportunity. Um, for some reason, Simon, it's hard for me to find your text. Um, so it's hard for me to find the link. If you can throw it up there, that'd be great. But um, but yeah, if you uh, click the link that Simon's gonna put at the top, um, basically you're gonna see the itinerary um, where you're gonna be experiencing the local schools, museum, art, music, culture, beaches, breakfast, lunch, and dinner is um, you know uh, figured out. And it's a great opportunity for a solo traveler that has never been to Africa, that wants a safe um, experience, that wants to really get deep into the culture of Kenya and really experience um, what it's like to be a local. And this type of trip is going to be giving back to the locals of Kenya and supporting uh, the community versus, you know, kind of uh, uh, taking from it. So uh, click the link at the top. Um, Slots are selling out fast, so uh, I would go ahead and move with urgency and purchase it, you know, today or by the end of the year at the latest, and then share this with friends and family. Um, 
once you visit Africa, if you've never been, uh, it's going to change your perspective on life. Um, and it's going to make your 2023 uh, even more um, enlightened. So uh, that's what I have to say for now. But I uh, look forward to talking about it more uh, throughout the show. And I'll pass it back to you, son. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, for those who are joining me on YouTube, by the way, uh, I'm live on YouTube as we speak. And uh, my guest on YouTube today is Fadili, who is a recording artist, an award-winning artist from Kenya. Uh, we just lost him. His, inter his connection is a little unstable at the moment. But uh, we are going to continue on with the show until he comes back. Welcome everybody, uh, you know, from Charles all the way to uh, Ken and Mooney and Nana, feel free to join us on the stage, Yaya and Walter. Thank you all for being here. It's uh, really, really a privilege to be here with all of you. Today is the last show we are doing for this year. The next show we are going to do for the African Father in America podcast is going to be on January 2nd. So uh, it's just good for you to be aware of that. But we will be sharing content, you know, throughout uh, these coming weeks. Uh, before the end of the year and until January 2nd, we'll be sharing a lot of content that we have not released. We'll be sharing a lot of, uh, you know, these nuggets of wisdom. Uh, speaking of nuggets of wisdom, um, the proverb today that we're discussing is from South Africa and it says that mix yourself with the grain and you will be eaten by the pigs. Mix yourself with the grain and you'll be eaten by the pigs. Uh, these, uh, you know, the proverb itself is beautiful. I want to share three nuggets to just, you know, warm the conversation up uh, while you think about what this proverb means for you. And then we are going to have our guest today talk about it briefly, uh, talk about some of the accomplishments he has as an artist, uh, and then we'll continue with the conversation. So I just want to bring Fadili back on. I see that he's calling me. I'll do that right now before we continue. Uh, excellent. My brother, thank you for being here. Uh, can you hear me okay? No, okay, okay. Perfect, perfect. So I'm going to share the proverb for today and the three nuggets of wisdom with, uh, that uh, are re related to this proverb. And then you are going to talk about what this proverb means for you. And then from there, we will just continue, you know, talking and engaging with our brothers and sisters who are all here with us today. So the proverb from South Africa says that, you know, mix yourself with the grain and you will be eaten by the pigs. And uh, the first nugget of wisdom uh, related to this proverb says that, be mindful of the company you keep and the environment you put yourself in. The second nugget says that, hold yourself accountable and recognize when you are engaging in unproductive activity or relationships and take steps to remove yourself from these unhealthy situations before they become too perilous. And then the third uh, nugget of wisdom says that practice self-reflection on a deeper level because it invites you to consider why uh, you know, why you gravitate towards certain people or activities and why those things uh, may be impacting your life negatively. I'll stop there and bring you on, my brother Fadili, so that you just share your own perspectives on the proverb and uh, also introduce yourself a little better because uh, you are an award-winning artist. You know, you are just nominated for Cafe Ngoma. Uh, you know, I saw that you are also nominated for Afrima Awards. But uh, these nominations don't really speak to the impact you're having in the grassroots. You know, I feel that you're one of the most uh, uh, influential artists, uh, in, you know, in the motherland, especially when it comes to, uh, you know, reaching young people, doing programming with young people. And that's part of why we are here today, because you are helping Mama Hope with the work that they're doing in Uganda, Kenya, Rwanda, Burundi. So, you know, this is the uniqueness yeah. that uh, I respect the most when it comes to, you know, people like you doing amazing work in the in the community. So thank you. Take it away. Respect, brother. Respect, brother. Same as you, brother. Same as you, you know, just that the work you're doing is not any different from what I'm doing, you know. It's um, it's it's doing what, you know, the, the, the dirty work that everyone else is scared to do and what is really necessary in the society. So, uh, 
uh, I would say the same for you, my brother, respect to you. And even for me, having to be on this show is such an honor, you know, I just looking up at more of, of what you've done before. And I'm like, damn, bro, that's, you know, this, this is good work. So um, about myself, sir, I would say, yeah, um, I'm a creative I'm an entrepreneur, like I said before. And uh, what that means is I, I venture into different forms of, um, of art. You know, I venture into activities that involve culture. Uh, that is what I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about people. I'm passionate about community. Uh, I'm passionate about conservancy and conservation. And I'm pas uh, very passionate about culture. So even the reason I do the music that I do, the style of music I do, is because of these particular passions. Um, so that is my drive. That is uh, my core. And that is my purpose. And I live up to it. And of course, um, it's not just for Yeah, uh, I lost Fadili there for a moment, I think. It's for the benefit of all. It's for the benefit of our story. We're the only ones who can actually make us, you know, be get to where we want to go. So that's basically the reason I do what I, I do. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Now, talk to us a little bit about this proverb uh, from South Africa. It says that mix yourself with the grain and you will be eaten by the pigs. And I think that yeah. you're living up to this proverb in a way. So uh, share your own perspectives and we, we, you will hear a lot of people. So, you know, talk about it in a moment. Uh, you'll be amazed uh, at how this proverb is one thing, but m people think about it in very many different ways. And diverse perspectives. You know, if I think about this proverb, um, I, I wonder who do I want to be? The first thing is I wonder, do I want to be the pig? Or do I want to be the grain? And then who am I? You know, regardless of what you want to be, who already are you? Which category are you? Are you the pig? Are you the grains? Because all these different characters. And you know, depending, if you want to bet, so, but then this resonates with me with some very powerful, it says, don't cast your, pearl, your pearls to swine for the trample of what's yours and mine. I was, I'd say this, this, this proverb really goes very much in line with this, you know, it says like, uh, be careful um, to me, it, 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 share, it, it just sheds light on, um, it's also very close. I feel like so many, so many times the forces we want to follow groups and trends and systems of living you know and lifestyles that appeal to to others that are not entirely your and i feel like uh often when we do that we succumb to um uh, situations or circumstances that you were never meant to be in the first place it's because you mixed up yourself with things that were not in your line of work, and not in your purpose, not in in alignment with actually what your 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 soul uh, mission is, and I feel it's a very good proverb because I think it enlightens us and constantly reminds us to 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 focus, to be single-minded, to be you know um, focused on what you want to achieve in this life and go with that. Don't because at the end of the day, you will achieve. The means uh, justifies the, uh, uh, the the end, yeah. Mm. But then it means you know the end from the beginning. Whatever it is you're getting yourself into, you know the end of it from the beginning. And I feel so many people forget this all the time. And I think this is the reason this proverb actually. That's uh, incredible. Uh, uh, is there in that you know the end of it? Yeah, that's that's how I feel about it. Thank you. Come closer to your mic or your phone uh, because we want to hear you very, very well. And uh, your connection, we are losing you a lot. Uh, awesome. Yeah, come. There you go. There you go. There you oh, go. I oh, think. Man. Perfect. I think your voice is going right. to sound m much better. I just want to quickly give a shout out to amazing uh, awesome. brothers and sisters who are here with us. Jay, shout out to you. Uh, Richmo, Jermaine. Uh, Hayes and Faith and Daniel and you know I see Jarrett and Lavender also here uh, you know we are here with our brother Fadili 
Itulia who is an award winning artist uh, in Nairobi Kenya at the moment Fadili is our special guest today uh, but we are also going to be talking about one vibe experience you know so uh, one vibe experience is uh, an opportunity for you to travel to Kenya with me and my team and uh, also be part of what we do in Kenya and meet people like Fadili and be a part of the work that not only One Vibe Africa is doing but Mama Hope you know Mama Hope is another amazing organization that um uh One Vibe Africa is partnering with especially in Kenya uh we lost Fadili here for a moment as soon as he's back we will be able to continue on with the conversation with him um but i just want to say that uh you know it's really really uh, an honor and a privilege to be here with all of you um i want to create space while fadil is figuring out his connection here i want to just quickly create space for uh, lavender to speak briefly about uh, one vibe experience and how all of you who are here with us now can be a part of the trip that we are organizing uh february 1st to 10th uh in kenya uh so lavender take it away for a moment Hey. Hello, hi Simon. Hi everyone. This is Lavenda. I'm speaking from Kisumu, Kenya. This is one of the places you'll visit when you're coming you with mean? us to Kenya in 2023. Um what I'd like to touch on today is the question about you signing up. Have you signed up? because i see garrett has shared the pin uh, has pinned the link for you to sign up up there like i said yesterday spaces are running out we are running out of slots and i'd love to meet most of you here um on this room especially because we've been talking about this for a while and now it's happening i'd love all of you to it and join me Simon and many other people that you'd be so happy you'll be meeting um Simon uh, so I'll share a few um a few directions for the next steps um towards the end of our conversation today thank you Simon Excellent. Thank you, Lavender. Now, uh we are we are still we don't have um our guest here yet. I just want to check maybe he's just off or oh, is here Fadili. Fadili, we we need to continue with our conversation. <laughs> are you there? Can you hear me? <laughs> okay, great. 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 Yeah, I'm um you know, this traveling thing don't get the best of reception, but I uh, I'm trying to work a bit with yeah. what I have here. Yeah, it's good man. Where are you exactly at the moment by the way? Okay, I can't hear you Fadili. Uh right now I'm in I'm in Dar es Salaam. Oh, I had Can no idea. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you perfectly. I hear you perfectly. Okay, bro. So then let's continue on with our conversation. Um you know, one of the questions I love asking guests that join me here is uh what drives you you know i share a story mm-hmm. of how when i was eight years old i used to distribute milk and bread in in my neighborhood in manyata you've been to manyata in kisumu you know so i want you to share a similar story of what is it that happened long time ago that keeps you driven and keeps you so passionate about this work that you are doing uh and also add mama hope to that story and that answer because no you know it's it's really a part of uh, why we are here today yes for real so for me really uh, to be honest one of the things i said earlier i'm very passionate about is culture community uh, um and uh, the conversations around conservation the reason these things are very important to me is because You know, I come from a very humble background. My old man is a is a, is a clergy, so is my mom. So is the rest of my siblings. Everyone's in the church. 
I'm raising the child basically because I feel like, look, society who every time, times, and um, society has to find a way of, uh, you know, redeeming itself and not depend on the government for everything. So I feel like we as a as, as a people should connect and plug into systems and create systems the work for us with stuff like that because i feel like um uh when it comes especially like to culture and art especially in my, my country i have not seen gap and it's not a people change the more we ignore it the more we lose who we are the more we lose who we are, the more disunited we become as a people. And I feel like this is the issue. This is the issue. This is the reason how, of, of why we vote how we vote. This is the reason why we eat what we eat, why we drink what we drink, how much of ourselves we love. And I feel like all of that goes back to culture. If we can put more love into culture, you create a system, a lifestyle, that defines those people, it becomes their identity. This is things I'm really passionate about. Now, if I take my my childhood and my and my uh, and my upbringing, um, uh, I I went to a very Kenyan uh, kind of upbringing, you know, uh, government school. Uh, um, uh, also, I, I went to school in uh, in Gakan uh, for one year. Then after that, my parents were really not in good in good shape to afford the the education, so I got transferred to Musingo boys in Western Kenya. And this is where I got toughened up. And this is where I got exposed to what, you know, uh, what my culture is, who are the Luya people? What is it they talk about, what do they love? What is it, what is it with these people? I got exposed to, to music at a deeper level. And I understood my eyes like finally opened to who we are it's the English way of things that people like me and my kind love so I was passionate about these things now when I got into music and in fact growing up um, I've always been this guy who's really um, I'm really really passionate about, um, so I was secretary for United Nations, and I remember my mother calling me this every time he'd call me. Kofi ah, Annan, do this, you know. He should always make fun of me in this way, you know. It was beautiful, and I responded and and I walked to this guy at the International uh, School of International Studies. My my classroom into the classes with a guitar on my back every time. And you know, the lecturer would always look up and say, ha, ah, the musician. And I would study these things and I'd love these things. I would nail those classes. But up at, up to a point, at some point I walked into this classroom and I'm like, what? Hey, this stuff that I'm taught here, this is stuff I already know. This is things I practice every day. I work with kids in, 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 in uh, you know, in children's homes. I taught there for two and a half years, teaching songwriting, teaching them children's rights, human rights, um, teaching them uh, self-confidence, basically just dress stage and more on the grassroots because I get to meet the people. I do not have to be in Ethiopia at, uh, you know, at, at the at the headquarters and change dress them and you know i have bigger uh, audiences bigger masses and a bigger tool to reach out to them with music because people love music with music you can touch their hearts you can reach out to their souls you can um you can connect with them at a deeper level from from even from a distance and you can leave that feeling and that thought with them because they listen to your music when you're not there and constantly it will remind them of the same same values 
that we're trying to preach in, in parliaments, we're trying to preach in conferences and seminars. I've seen um, all, the, all the awards and the nominations that I get. I don't think they're just for me. They're for the efforts that I'm doing towards the benefit of everyone of all. You know, so I feel these are things that I'm, I'm really, really passionate about. And whether or not I win those awards, I'm doing what I need to do in this lifetime because we all have a very limited lifetime. And this is the, 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 the kind of grain that I want to be. This right. is the kind of grain that I want to be, you know. And, right. uh, you know, Mama Hope is, is, is really amazing our, our program if I think about it because I, I ran into, into Margot um, a couple of years ago. And before then, she was, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure even she was, she was working with Mama Hope then. But it's Marco who introduced me now to even uh, yeah. one of my favorite places right now. I travel in Moshi all the time, and then I got to work. With yes. Yeah, I want yes, you yes. to. I want you to talk about Mama Hope, uh, just the way you are. But I want to just take a quick second and and give Jared a chance to just remind everyone we've been joined by yeah. over fifty people since we started talking, and we have eighteen people listening now on Clubhouse and four people on YouTube. I just want you, Jared, to just quickly let everybody know how they can be engaged with the conversation, especially on Clubhouse on YouTube. Just make sure you're sharing the link and you're also engaging. Let us know in the comment, what do you think of this conversation we are having? What do you think of the proverb that we are discussing? Jared, do you want to let everybody know how they can be engaged on Clubhouse? Just quickly, Fadili. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, first and foremost, thanks everybody in the room. If you could click that little box at the bottom with the arrow pointed up and share the room to the uh, hallway, uh, you can click that yellow uh, hand and just say a couple words, or you can click that, uh, you know, invite people button and invite people that are online to the space so they can hear this uh, really dope conversation. If you want to come on stage and share your thoughts on the proverb, feel free to raise your hand. And uh, the link that I'm about to add to the top is going to have the itinerary for the February 1st to 10th um, uh, trip uh, to Kenya uh, that's being uh, ran by One Vibe Africa. And uh, definitely, like Lavender said, slots are running out fast. But this is a great opportunity to really experience uh, the continent of Kenya in a really authentic and, um, you know, curated way, you know, highlighting the locals. Um, so, you know, some of the highlights are going to be working at the Young Generation Center, spend time with students, artists, activists, farmers and tech enthusiasts, eat dinner with the Kenyan family, uh, work on a farm, participate in local soccer games, uh, work side by side with locals, learn how to cook cook. Kenyan food, be able to uh, visit beaches, visit the uh, Kit Makai rock formations, go on a safari, all kinds of cool stuff over 10 days. Um, and if you've never been to Kenya, this is going to be an amazing opportunity to go deep into the culture. So uh, check out the link at the top, share it with your friends and family, share it on your Facebook groups, your Twitters, your LinkedIn's, your Reddit's, your Discord's, and just let people know about this experience. Uh, so that they have an opportunity to um, visit the beautiful uh, country of Kenya. So uh, with that being said, over to you, Sam. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Fadili, you are speaking about, uh, by the way, for those who are joining us, I'm hosting an award-winning artist and someone who it's really a privilege that he made the time to join us while he's traveling. He's not even in his home ground. He's in Dar es Salaam. I love Dar es Salaam, by the way. <laughs> I feel like I always just pass through Dar es Salaam, you know. <laughs> Anyway, so talk to us about how you that's met Margo because that's what you're you 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 you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, this. Uh, so I met Margo through one of the the uh, the, the uh, programs that I was running. I ran. Um, up to 50, 50 people to just, you know, uh, respond and say, I'd love to attend. And they come there and get to meet exciting artists, you know, for uh, for uh, between two hours, 6 to 8 p.m. And they would hang there and interact with many, you know, creatives in the industry. And, you know, it was not, not anything for me, but just to create the culture and the vibe around, uh, around art. person. Is, uh, so after that, she introduced me now to a group of kids that they were working with in, in Moshi called Simbas. 
and this is when I understood really what 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 you're talking about is is real. There's people out here like Mama Hope who really want the society to to figure out its own solutions because among ourselves we have our own solutions. We know how. Uh, forgive my French, but how shit works. People know how what their needs are. People know what uh, how to find solutions for their own problems. They don't need aid. They don't need aid. They just need to be equipped and they will figure this stuff out. And I, I saw this on ground. I know I, after that, I've been coming here maybe for the past six years. I cannot go in Tanzania without passing through Moshi. You know, if uh, Simba's Footprints have an event, they have kids that uh, they need training, they need uh, stuff like that. It costs you nothing to inspire a child. It costs you nothing to show love. You know, so these are some of the things and these are some of the messages that I really feel we are passionate about and people should have these conversations more. And one of the things I'm really proud of of, of Mama Hop is, uh, you know, I even actually, actually had the story about about um, uh, the founder and how she was supporting children to go through education and, and, and without even having to mention it, even to her own family, no one knew about this. No one knew about this. And I, I'm telling you this, this is the quality in life. This is the true secret of, of, of living, you know, do the work. Don't wait for the praise. Do the work. And I love this campaign that they have right now. It's called uh, Put Your Money Where Your Mouth Is. You know? Uh, it means like, stop stop yapping all these big words about about how you're doing this and that and the other. Get to work and do the work, you know? And I feel that's that that's it. That's where we are right now. We just got to keep it real, you know? Uh, you look at, at uh, how far I've come even myself with music. I do not have I do not have management. I do not have representation. I wish I did. <laughs> uh, uh, I I do not you know travel the most comfortable of, of of travels. I have sophisticated you know events. Some of them don't entirely work out. Some of them work me out, but I do not quit because why the assignment, the assignment. If you are single minded on the assignment, then you have impact. And I feel this is the reason we're having this conversation we have, we're having right now. is because people have to, more and more, now more than ever before, uh, focus more on the things that actually have meaning and bring value to life as we know it. I deeply appreciate everything you just said, man. You know Shamir, right? <laughs> shukran, bro. Shukran, shukran. Yeah, unajua Shamir. Do you know Shamir? I know, I know Shamir. Shamir <laughs> you know Tanea. Shamir, yeah. Shamir, ma, Shamir is, uh, you know, Shamir. Oh, family, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, you remind me about Shamir. You know, he never gives up. And Shamir reminds me about myself, you know. Uh, and of course, we have Walter Koga, you know, a legendary NTT player who is listening to our conversation now. Another brother who never <laughs> gives up, you know. Yeah, yeah. But what you say about Mama Hope is really, really important for people to really wrap their head around you know there are so many i grew up in kenya and my mother started an orphanage home in 1997 and she was always struggling with feeding all these children that uh, we were living together with and there, we saw many ngos we saw many missionaries we saw many churches come and go with their ideas and plans you know <laughs> but we always just there we continue doing the work until now we've changed that orphanage into yeah the space that you've been to, you know, yeah. and, um, you know, we've seen, you know, thousands of foreigners come and go, uh, but not many do what Mama yeah. Hope is doing. And uh, for me, it's important that we we, we control, uh, we control uh, how the resources in Africa are being used. And also we control the narrative about Africa. We tell the stories of Africa through music, through podcasts the way that uh, it needs to be told we get people to travel to africa the way that we see it you know and so that's why today's conversation is really really important to me um you know i want you to just quickly talk about uh, some of the recent nominations because we have people listening you'll, you'll hear there are people listening in jamaica there are people listening in in the u.s I, I want people to just know a little bit about some of your accomplishments now musically you know uh, talk about cafe ngoma nomination and uh, the recent afrima nomination uh, you know Talk about that. How does that make you feel, uh, considering where you came from and uh, having all these nominations bestowed upon you and some of these awards too? All right. Uh, uh, 
uh, as you all know, Fadili is in Dar es Salaam and his connection is a little bit unstable at the moment. Here he is. <laughs> okay, my brother. Carry on, carry on, carry on. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Yeah, man, yeah, man. All right. Um, so the, the recent nominations I have is uh, the the first nom nomination I ever got was uh, the All Africa Music Awards, which is it's equivalent for for what we have in Africa as uh, what as what you have in the world as Grammys, because this is like a continental award that uh, co compiles content in, uh, a music music content from the African continent and awards people who have uh, who are uh, are doing doing remarkable work in their fields in different categories. So the first uh, nomination I ever got was after I released my first album in 2018. The album is called Quetu and one of the songs is called Afirika. It got a nomination for a category called uh, Best in uh, African Jazz. And then my second um, nomination was uh, uh, the nomination called uh, Best in African Contemporary Music. So I submitted one. Yeah, we are we are losing uh, Fadili so here. So if you look at this word, the problem is, I'd like to explain this because it's not exactly, uh, can you hear me? I hear you now, I hear you now, keep going, thank you. Yeah, so the problem also for an album as well, because in this album I talk about, in this album I talk about uh, how how um, the solutions that we have are within ourselves. Now, if you search this word, the problemist, it means someone who solves difficult mathematical questions. It doesn't mean someone who's problematic. It means someone who provides. Yeah, so thank you again for joining us. Uh, we are here with Fadili Itulia, who is a recording artist, award-winning artist. He's in uh, Dar es Salaam at the moment, but he's from Nairobi, Kenya, originally. Uh, you know, as you all know, we've been struggling with the connection there, which is unstable at the moment. But I want to bring you on uh, to share your own perspectives, just briefly. Uh, so we are going to do this popcorn style, you know. Uh, it, whether you are a moderator or you are uh, on the stage, just feel free to double tap your mic if you want to speak. I see Latanja. So we'll begin with Latanja. Share your perspectives briefly. Uh, Fadili, uh, just stay with me for a moment. Let's give our brothers and sisters a moment to just chime in into our conversation and then uh, we will continue on uh, from where you are at the moment. Okay. Grand Rising and Rising Grand, congratulations, Simon, on your 310th episode. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you, thank I you, do, thank you. You're welcome. I do understand where you, you say, mix yourself with the grain and you will be eaten by the pigs. I found that pigs will eat whole grain, but this will pass straight through and show in the manure. And it also says that grain that is processed is more easily digested by the pig and there is less feed wasted. I say whatever we consume is woven within us, ingested, interconnected, and intertwined, just like a mud-covered swine. We become the very essence of its characteristics just by way of association. Be cautious of what you see, hear, feel, think, and eat. It will penetrate the open pores like the heat of a safari vacation. And I'll land there, Simon, for sake of time. Thank you so much. That's beautiful. That's a poem. You know, thank you. I appreciate that deeply. I'll keep the the floor open. Feel free to double tap your mic. By the way, this is the last show we are doing in 2022. Uh, the next show will be January 2nd. 
you know uh, i'm doing this because i have a, a you know i have a surgery on monday on my left ankle i have a soccer surgery i used to play soccer when i was younger but uh so you know when i had that injury 10 years ago there were two screws that were put on my left ankle that are now becoming a problem so they're going to be taken out on monday and i'll need a little bit of a break after that but also we'll take advantage of that uh, time that we're not broadcasting to really strategize and uh, be ready for the next year and also get a little rest so i just want you all to know that this is going it, this is a special uh, conversation really and it's uh, for me it's really important uh, because i love doing this and uh, i will miss uh, seeing you all and spending time with you all but just to know that we'll be sharing a lot of content that we have not been releasing because we also don't have the capacity to release everything we we, we record you know so for example most of africa day content you know we have not released much of it so uh, just be ready to engage uh, reach out let us know if you want to be more involved uh, and uh, I'll again keep the floor open let's see uh, who wants to share their perspectives before we bring back fadili to wrap up our conversation today excellent excellent just double tap your mic if you're on the stage i want to make sure i see wants to speak okay brother brother uh brother rushi go ahead and then we bring on jay hey uh i think uh i pretty much agree with the speaker i think i was very interested in hearing him uh telling his his story about how he uses art to influence and make his mark on on society so i i really do enjoy what he's saying <clears throat> as far as the uh proverb is concerned uh i think it's all about who you associate yourself with you know that that becomes uh how you get digested into society so uh, that's all i would like to add i appreciate everything thank you i i can't look forward i look forward to hearing what everyone else's uh, interpretations are Thank you so much uh, brother Rushi I appreciate you deeply. Uh Jay how are you doing? I'll pass you the microphone. Thank you so much brother and everyone in the room. Um I was also very impressed with the speaker and extremely disappointed <laughs> that he didn't have a better connection. Me too. <laughs> only, only because he is one of those individuals the bits and pieces that I could catch in here He's one of those individuals that I personally would love to sit at his feet. He has so many jewels, so much wisdom, you know, and humility on top of being incredibly gifted and talented, but his talents didn't come um automatically. He had to work for it. So very very fascinating um the journey that he took to get to where he is today and to be able to hold on to his humility and to have so much wisdom regarding the uh proverb i also agree with him i know the scripture well about uh casting your pearls before swine that he mentioned um and he also mentioned a few other things that i was 100% in agreement with but i will say that you do have to find a way to step away from the crowd so that you can really dig deeper to find yourself and your purpose your passion um what your role and your responsibility is in this world not only to elevate yourself but to make the world a better place and you're not going to be able to accomplish that if you you're running with the crowd hanging with the crowd doing what the crowd does or whatever it takes to fit in what you need to do is to find what is best for you and what is right for you thank you so much uh, simon for allowing me to speak and oh my gosh i'm just going to miss the times that i come in here I- i'm going to miss um when you're away i truly truly am is like can't you get stella and Jared and Lavender to keep the room running. <laughs> All right, take care. Blessings. Blessings to you. I I'm sure we are going to get there. I'm sure we are going to get to a place where, you know, Stella and Jared and Lavender and Steven are going to be able to hold this down uh and maybe even Kid and who knows, you know. But uh 
you know i love that idea by the way uh, i want to keep the floor open anybody can contribute uh, quickly just want to give a shout out to those who are watching on youtube thank you so much if you're here and you're really interested in supporting what mama hope is doing uh, you should go to mamahope.org i think that's the website and uh, you should also go to their instagram handle and learn more about the amazing work that they're doing uh, our guest today fadili uh is one of mama hope ambassadors you know mama hope works with uh, young artists in tanzania uh kenya rwanda burundi uganda uh you know so that's how one vibe africa my organization connected with mama hope so we are literally collecting music instruments in uh the us and in germany and some of these instruments we are going to be sending to the locations where mama hope supports artists mama hope also works with other kinds of projects for example they support people with disability they support uh, programs that support women elders you know so many incredible things farmers so you should check them out mamahope.org and when fadili comes back he will be able to continue on Uh, with a conversation but we are, we are going to bring him back by the way we'll make sure uh, we corner him when he is in Nairobi when he has stable connection uh, with that I'll keep the floor open for us to hear from all of you uh, brother Earth go ahead peace and love family this is brother Earth I'm coming from the North Carolina territory and um like you, uh, everyone previously said uh, Simon You know, it was a beautiful conversation what I could was able to make out. And one thing that stood out to me that the speaker spoke about about is putting love back in the culture. You know, and I feel like that's something uh that's very important that needs to uh that's a crucial part in us healing as a people, you know, really knowing and understanding how to love on one another and give each other the grace and room to grow. because i feel like you know that's one thing that's lacking for now and uh no drew ali said as a people we need to learn how to love instead of hate and to a large degree i uh the so called black people here we focus on the, uh a lot of the, we put a lot of time and energy into negative things or things that uh don't necessarily uh push us in uh the right light and uh as far as the proverb goes uh mix yourself with grain and you will be eaten by the pig uh and again it it goes kind of sort of about you know the, the company you keep and it is another proverb or something I seen on Instagram where it, it was a old man who gave his son a watch and told him to take it down to the man down the street and the guy told him he'll give him uh 10 bucks for it Then he uh, went back to his daddy with the watch. His, his daddy told him, "Now take the watch to the pawn shop." He went to the pawn shop with the watch. The people at the pawn shop offered him a thousand dollars for the watch. Then his daddy told him, "Now go take the watch to the museum." And when he took the uh, the, the watch to the museum, the museum offered him, you know, a ridiculous amount of money for the uh, the watch. And and his daddy told the boy at, at the end of the situation, you know. uh in all three of the situations you know the, the watch was it, the watch the watch value never changed it was all uh, according to the situation and like you made with the third point of wisdom is uh important that we put ourselves uh around quality people and quality situations in order that we not uh in order for us to be our best selves and I park my plane right there as brother peace and love fam peace and love to you brother uh, that's beautiful and that's really something that I will practice myself you know thank you again uh welcome welcome uh, Christopher Christopher love and welcome uh, Stacy and can everyone joining us for the first time Carol Kaino Queen uh you know we do this Monday to Friday and we've been doing this uh for the last two years you know we've recorded 310 episodes of the African Father in America podcast that are going you know by today we will have 310 episodes in the next hour 
that are on you know Apple, Spotify, all the podcasting platforms across the world. Um and we are also on YouTube. If you want to join me on YouTube, I'm live there. Thank you to everyone who is live there with me right now. Let me know where you're joining me from in the chats uh, so that we can stay connected with you. Uh but really I'm so grateful. I'm so excited that this is our last uh conversation until January you know in this format and then uh from January 2nd we'll come back strong uh but for now remember we are creating blogs with each episode with each african proverb with each conversation we have with every guest we create a blog as well that you should tap into uh if you want to learn more about that go to my instagram and uh there's a link tree there that will lead you to the blog now i want to you know create the space for anyone who is on the stage to share their perspectives on the proverb and also share their comments on the conversation i have been having with fadili who is uh who has been our guest today we lost him because of connection issues uh and then i'm going to come back to my incredible team of moderators so that they also just share their perspectives as we close today's conversation thank you Hello, good morning everyone. This is Kiden uh joining you from South Florida. Um what an amazing uh proverb and uh guest that you brought on today. Um Fadili, if you're if you can hear us, I think you're just an amazing artist. Um we couldn't hear you as well, but your energy definitely um came across the airwaves and you know it was powerful it was positive and i just think it's it's so infectious so i can only imagine um uh, like how you can impact uh children and people around you actually on the ground much success to you and um as for the proverb i it reminds me of uh two things um how we we always hear like don't go against the grain so i was like oh, okay this one is kind of different it's telling it's kind of warning you like don't mix yourself with the grain um i think that we all recognize how we're living in like a time where the news cycle is so negative sometimes and we hear more negative stories than positive stories and sometimes we're just tempted to like comment on everything or give our thoughts on everything and that can also make us feel overwhelmed or even put us in a negative uh, uh state of mind so to me this proverb is just reaffirming of hey like you don't have to jump into every or like follow every negative uh, story and kind of like protect your thoughts kind of thing and this is what i was reflecting on last night so i'm actually happy to see that this proverb it, it speaks to me because it aligns with uh how i'm personally feeling about life and um society right now so thank you again simon for this wonderful space um have an amazing break and uh we look forward to coming back strong in january and uh, everyone take care thank you Wonderful. Thank you Kiden. I deeply appreciate you. And uh I want to also keep the space open. Uh let's see if anybody else on the stage uh wants to share their comments and then I'll I'll begin with Stella after we hear from everyone else and then go to Steven and Lavend and then Jared then from after that we'll close our session today. Hey K and uh, of course Jay I've heard from you. I think we just have K that has not spoken. So maybe I'll just give you space. Hey folks. Um it's been a, it's been a while, been a, been a bit busy. Um I'm I'm so happy to be able to be here for for this last 2023, I mean 2022 um session. This um this proverb I I'm I'm imagining um like why would you want to wrap yourself in grain and I'm thinking maybe maybe it's warm and then and then I'm then I was imagining that uh the pigs are uh, uh I would I would think that we were thinking of them as food um but it may be it, but but the warning is remember that you're you you can become the food um to to your supposed food and there's this a, a strange juxtaposition and in my my mind i'm imagining um i don't know trying to clean the teeth of a of a lion uh it it's a it's a it's a it's a funny juxtaposition um that i'm 
that I'm seeing in my head. Um, and I want to thank you all for for a wonderful year and 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 wish you all the best for for the rest of your 2022 and 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 look forward to next year. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, your consistent uh, presence during this year of uh, the broadcasting of the uh, African Father in America podcast and uh, I just want to welcome all the all the you know the people that have the party hearts you know the people who are new to Clubhouse I remember the early days of Clubhouse where you know it was so exciting to uh, really host new people on the app the app was deeply meaningful to people and I feel that you know uh, just seeing the party hearts and people are newer to the art the, the the app reminds me of those days uh anyhow i thank you all i want to come to you stella you know uh how do you feel about what we did this whole year uh this past year and uh what's exciting for you in regards to 2023 uh and what are your comments in regards to today's conversation stella has been deeply involved with making this possible thank you simon hello everyone um I'm so grateful for this podcast and like I've always said it's a it's like a healing podcast it's therapeutic just listening to everyone's perspective regards to these proverbs and how we can relate them in our life so it's been a very a very good year for me because personally I found healing on this space um Secondly, uh, on today's proverb, I just want to say that we can turn this grain into ugali <laughs> and uh, join the 10-day magical Kenya adventure so that when we get to the Dunga beach, according to our itinerary, then we'll get to enjoy some very huge pieces of, like a huge, a uh, huge fish, tilapia, for that matter, uh, so we can eat the, the the ugali that we get from this grain with it, so that we don't uh, uh, wrap ourselves into being eaten by the pigs because we mixed ourselves with the grain. Instead, let's turn it into ugali and uh, join the trip. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, Stella. I was in Dunga when I was there with Rushi, and that was the the first time I was seeing Dunga Beach after the you know the 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 fish um, the fish industry where all the hotels that sell fish uh, you know were moved there. The last time I was there before that, it was a very peaceful place, <laughs> very quiet. But the thing is, when I was there with Rushi, I didn't eat any ugali, and that's one of my biggest regrets. Uh, you know, during this last trip to Kenya, I didn't have a chance to actually uh, enjoy ugali and fish there. We were just filming a music video together with Walter Koga, who is also here. So it's just great that you're all here. Um, yes, we will be there. Uh, you know, God willing. Now, Stephen, how are you? Uh, what are your thoughts about this past year, uh, you know, n this coming year, and also anything about today's conversation with Fadili? Uh, greetings, greetings, everyone. Uh, thank you for having me, Simon. This year has been amazing. It's, uh, we've marked a milestone, celebrated our 310th episode which is very remarkable to close the year with uh, i'm anticipating a very very wonderful healthy and productive 2023 with a bigger reception than what we have currently and uh, to those who are not yet signed up for the trip to kenya kindly do just click that button and sign for that trip because it's going to be amazing. It's going to be educative. It's going to be like what you really wanted for yourself because we are here to make your stay in Kisumu and Kenya memorable. 
about today's proverb, what comes to my mind is uh, uh, it reminds me of uh, the kind of groupings and the people we associate ourselves with and uh, uh, rings a, a small say to me that you shall reap what you sow. If you associate yourself with body grouping, then uh, what you will be sowing is uh, either you'll be ending up behind the bars or you will end up dead like the many youths that are ending up uh, uh, killed by mob in Kisumu because of the bad path that they have followed. So uh, the most important thing is uh, that dawns to me is choosing which kind of grain you want to mix or associate yourself with. If you mix yourself with bad grains, there are grains that are even thorny. They can prick you and uh, and uh, deform your skin and your beautiful look. And if you associate yourself with the good grains, then you will be eating ugali like uh, Stella was attesting before. So let us just be uh, mindful of uh, the kind of grains that we want to mix ourselves into. And uh, uh, that will make our lives easy and better. So again, thank you for being part of this session through 2022. I look forward to meeting you and meeting your friends that you will be inviting in 2023. May you all have a wonderful holiday. Merry, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Bless you all. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Simon. Thank you very yeah. much. Hey, Lavender, take it away. Hi, Simon. Hi, everyone. Um, this is Lavender. Stella and I actually were talking about some of the highlights of this year, and uh, we were listening to some of the playbacks from um, the Daily African Proverb. Uh, personally, I miss Gogoruten Dongara. I miss... Uh, Debbie, uh, <laughs> those are some of um, the participants I love to listen to, although, um, of course, we have Jay, we have uh, Melissa, we have Latonja, Dr. Latonja, shows up, Brother Art. Brother Rushi shows up. I truly, truly appreciate. I know um, there are some of you that I met through this platform. I haven't been here as long as some of you, but I'm grateful to be part of the collective and everything that I've learned so far from being uh, present in this room Thank you so much for always sharing your wisdom freely with us. And uh, today's, today's uh, proverb is like, we are closing with a bang. <laughs> and it's truly reminding us, it's like it, all the topics we've had, all the proverbs we've had throughout the year put together. And we're being reminded not to mix ourselves with the grain because we don't want to be eaten by pigs. We are leaving or we are taking a break. Better people, we are taking a break to reflect. We are taking a break, coming back to um, make other people better as well because we're expecting more numbers. I'll, I'll touch on the trip a little bit. And um, the next steps for those who've booked the trip is to just reach out to me. As soon as you book, I'll share information with you, such as uh, the immunization shots that you'll be required to take. I'll share with you how to get your visa and your visa processing 
Jarrett and I are working on uh, getting some uh, flight ticket discounts for those who are coming. So in case you're signing up, do so as soon as possible to make work easier for us and to avoid last minute rush. Again, you can text me on here on Clubhouse, just drop me a message and or you can email me on lavender at onevibeafrica.org. Thank you so much. Wonderful, Lavender. Thank you again for all your amazing work. I deeply appreciate it. Hey, Jared, uh, your your thoughts on how it's been. I know that, Jared, you've been one of the people who have actually played very many roles in the growth of this space. You've been an observer where you've just watched and given me feedback of what we could do to improve without actually showing up. And then you've showed up consistently and participated and then given me feedback. And then you threw yourself in the deep end and began helping so uh, talk about all those and also talk about you know um the the, the 10 day trip and why it's been so important to you because you've really encouraged me to to work on this you know uh, you are part of why we were able to up, uh, upgrade the website and make it really really proper so take 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 a second and take time and take space yeah no um no obviously this room has been really dope and um yeah when it comes to the proverb uh it's just something i'm always cognizant of it's kind of like if you want to see where you're headed look at the five people you spend the most time with and um you're gonna basically um take on their habits you're gonna take on their mindset you know if they have disempowered views you're probably gonna take that on if they have very empowered views you're gonna take that on you know, if they have kind hearts, you're going to take that on. If they gossip, you're going to take that on. So I'm very aware of the energy and the, you know, and, you know, people's energy uh, overall when it comes to how I uh, um, choose, like, my environment. And so, like, this type of environment in this room is a space where I can, you know, get up early and start my day off with some really, you know, um, good energy. And uh, one thing that I loved about Africa, every time I go, it's just the energy is overwhelming um, in terms of just how kind and how um, optimistic and how um, just genuine the people of the African continent are. And uh, every country is different. Uh, every you know tribe is different every town is different and um, that's what I'm excited about when it comes to Kenya is you know Kenya as a country is so diverse uh, I think it was mentioned there's 40 plus tribes uh, in the areas that will be attending and I'm just really looking forward to learning about the history of each tribe um, the history of every town um, the local um, you know culture and the traditions and you know just understanding you know where i'm from ultimately and i feel like african americans we should all journey back to africa and this trip in particular is going to be a great opportunity especially for solar travelers to be uh, in a safe space that gives back to the community and also has a diverse amount of experiences it's not all nightlife it's not all beaches it's a mix of everything so um yeah, shout out to the website it's very detailed uh once you click it there should be no question of what you'll be doing uh and where you're going which i like uh but there's also going to be opportunity for spontaneity and improvisation as well so um if you can make it definitely click the link at the top join the trip and um, make sure to follow Simon, uh, follow him on YouTube, you know, subscribe to his podcast, and uh, yeah, be a part of the One Vibe Experience uh, 2023. So with that being said, I will pass the mic back to you. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, last night I was driving with one of my daughters and uh, I was telling her that we will not be uh, broadcasting the African Father in America podcast until January 2nd and uh she was she asked why but very passionately you know <laughs> and i realized that it was important to her and she she has actually never said it what we do here is important to her but she she always listens to every episode 
uh, especially when we are driving you know i turn it on and then she asks what was today's proverb you know then i tell her then she she just listens you know uh, these days we don't fight about which song or which artist needs to be played as we are driving somewhere it's always the podcast because we can't listen to all the episodes there are many you know 300 plus so uh, i feel great uh, i'll i'll have a lot of uh, your voices actually that i will be listening to in the course of this next few weeks literally i'll be editing some of the content myself i'll be training part of my team while i'm healing from this uh, you know uh, li- this surgery that i'm going to have on monday i'm actually excited about just going deeper into this work uh, you know breaking it all apart in a way and then bring it all together so that by january 2nd we are we are just going to be even better at what we do so i just thank you all if you want to stay connected with me really instagram is the best place uh you know at okelo javan and uh you know you can dm me i'll respond to every dm but also if you want to subscribe to my youtube channel it's the same handle at okelo javan and also twitter at okelo javan and really i want to thank each one of you who is here with us right now and also to those who are going to listen to this later on uh, or watch this later on thank you for supporting us throughout this year this is the year when the african father in america podcast became a five star rated uh, podcast and we hit the 300 episode number just recently and i'm i'm just grateful you know uh, as some of us who are here were, were also saying we've hosted some of the most uh, inspiring leaders uh, from across the world uh, you know this year and uh, if you want to be a guest connect with lavender please she's on the show right now and she shared her email address with you but dm me and i'll be able to also send you the the booking link uh thank you again and this marks the end of our time together today uh blessings african father in america You are listening to African Father in America podcast by Simon Pe-